Hey, what is going on guys? Of course, my name is SMK. You can always just call me Steven. Welcome to a how-to video for the Logitech C922 Pro Stream webcam. In this video, it's all about just how to use the webcam, how to get you guys started uh, when it comes to Exploit Broadcaster and an OBS Studio, how to get 60 frames per second and stuff of that nature. Just general information about the webcam. Uh, if you're looking for how to use a chroma key option, which of course, you know, uses a green screen and or the personified chroma cam background replacement, those two things will be covered in different videos. So definitely check in the links down below in the description. So check there, watch those videos so you can learn more about how to set up the webcam with those types of features. Um, this video is just about how to get you guys started and just to get you ready to go in either XSplit Broadcast or in an OBS Studio. And of course, today's video is sponsored by Logitech because they did give me one of these webcams so I can break down everything and make it as simple as possible for you guys to understand. Without further ado, let's get right into uh, this tutorial. Alright guys, for the C922, it's pretty much like a plug and play. Uh, it works in USB 2.0 and USB 3.0. Uh, it uses native Windows drivers for the webcam. If you have any issues with the webcam not working, of course, just go to the official C922 page in Logitech to download the applications for the webcam. Uh, the webcam just works on your computer because you may not have a Windows native computer. You may have a different OS, so make sure you just go to there if you have any issues with the webcam not working. Uh, secondly, uh, to set up the webcam, you, of course, you can just do a typical setup. You can just mount uh, the, the webcam on your monitor with the clips in the back. You can just like you know mesh it together and make sure it fits securely on your monitor. Or you can use the tripod, the tabletop tripod that comes with the C922. You just screw it under the bottom of the C922 and you can just have this very, you know, pretty decent sized tabletop tripod is a different option when it comes to using your webcam in your daily setup of, you know, live streaming and or recording videos. So that's pretty much everything to get you guys started. Let's talk about how to get you guys started and actually use the webcam and XSplit Broadcaster and then we're going to move on to OBS Studio. All right, guys, let's add the C922 to our uh, scene in XSplit broadcast. So go to Sources, click on it, and look under Webcams and Capture Cards, C922. Click it, and we have the camera now in XSplit Broadcaster. So if you want to mess with the settings, you can see it's highlighted. You can you can just right-click there, or if you want to just go down, if you have a huge amount of sources in your scene, just right-click on the actual webcam itself, and it'll give you the Properties page. So typically, you get the recommended settings from Logitech when you have the webcam in uh, XSplit. Uh, if you want to mess with it manually, just click Manual Settings, Configure, Video Input. Now, this is where you can mess with the, you know, the brightness, contrast, the saturation, sharpness, white balance. As you can see we can turn the uh, white balance on auto or just manual. We can mess with that. Another thing, if you want to mess with the autofocus, that's right here. I will say the Logitech C922 uh, likes to focus a lot, and it really likes to make sure the picture is looking crisp. So it's something you may not be used to, um, but it's kind of up for in the air if you like it or not. So definitely uh, have it on or off if you like it or not. I will just say that from just my own personal use, I know that the autofocus definitely works more versus like the C920, for example. So I typically just leave it off unless I'm doing like pack openings or something like that or an unboxing video, something of that nature. Um, also, just leave the auto exposure always on. You're going to run into so many weird problems with just things just not working correctly. I don't know why it does that. Just leave it on. And if you have a very uh, dark room and you want to brighten up a little bit, with the low light compensation, it brings, you know, um, a light source to your uh, your your webcam it brings out a brighter image um, but you also do lose some frames it gives you kind of like a more sharper image versus smooth because with more frames per second it's more of a smoother image where I feel like this is more of a brighter and sharper image so kind of you know use it as you will um, I will say that um, I don't typically use low light compensation because I use the 60 frames per second of this webcam and you can't use the low light compensation with the 60 frames per second. We'll, we'll show you guys in just a moment, but you guys can see really quick. So let me show you just an example. So let's turn it off. Okay, so the max you get with 1080p is 30 frames per second with this webcam, just so you guys know. Currently we're in 1080p with this webcam right now. So let me turn some lights off. All right, so it's pretty dim, pretty dark in the room right now, right? Awesome. So let's go back to the settings, and let me show you what the low light compensation really does. So click apply. So as you can see, it you know brightens up the image, but we do lose frames per second. But I was saying, like when you have the uh, low light compensation, it gives you a brighter image in a darker room. 
but it gives you more of a sharper image versus a smoother image. So it's kind of like sharpness versus smoothness. So, you know, it's up to you if you guys uh, want to set it up however you like. I just typically don't use it because I like the 60 frames per second out of this webcam, which I'm going to show you guys how to set up really quick. So go back in your camera settings and turn off the low light compensation. Click apply and then make sure that the exposure is checked on. Everything else can be how it is. It's just the main thing is exposure checked on, low light compensation turned off. Click OK. Now go into the configure settings, go to video output. Make sure it's at 60 frames per second right up here. OK. Make sure it's MJPEG for the color space. Make sure the output size is 1280 by 720. Click apply OK. Give it one second. You're going to notice it gets even more darker. OK. Um, you cannot have low light compensation on when you use the 60 frames per second. But now the camera quality is in um, 60 frames per second at 720p. So that's kind of the big thing about this webcam is that 720p, you get 60 frames per second. I love it. It looks super smooth. I have a standing desk. You know, I get to move around and act a fool. And it's a lot of fun. I really do like it. Now, just remember when you're on an expert broadcaster to go into the frame rate and make sure it's checked at 60 fps because you want to make sure that when you're broadcasting and or recording videos that it's capturing in like 1080p 720p whatever quality you're at but always make sure that the um the frames per second is at 60 frames per second regardless of the gameplay uh you have you always want to make sure that you know you take advantage of the 60 frames per second um in expert broadcaster with these you know c922 so one thing you can do though is granted you get a darker image just turn the lights back on and you get a pretty solid image it's just the when you turn on the 60 frames per second like when you activate it it gets very dim so you definitely want to have a very bright room uh, to make sure that you know you get the best picture quality when you have the 60 frames per second so that's pretty much how you guys set it up in xplit broadcaster now we're going to focus on obs studio uh, but that's how you guys do it in xplit broadcaster hopefully that helped you guys out it's very very simple but you know it's just some key things you just got to always keep in mind when it comes to achieving the 60 frames per second and just to set up the camera very simply in xplit broadcaster so now let's go to obs studio all right guys so in obs studio you go to sources Go to the plus sign and uh, video capture device. You can click OK. You can rename if you want, but it's just going to skip that stage. We're gonna go, you're going to go to devices, click the C922 Pro Screen Webcam. You click it, and there we are. Now, to mess with the settings, you want to go here to go to custom, and then you can change the resolution. We'll just for this purposes, we'll change it to 1080p. You can see that, of course, uh, it automatically adjusted to 30 frames per second. So let's, change, let's just manually click it to 30. And uh, for the video format, just have it at, uh, at um, MJPEG. And that's pretty much it. You are literally all good to go. Like there's our camera. It's in 1080p, 30 frames per second in OBS Studio. Bing, bang, boom. Let's set up the 60 frames per second in OBS Studio. So just go back in the settings here. You want to go to um, your configure video really quick. And you should have your properties tab pop up right there. There it is. And make sure, again, same thing applied like an expert broadcaster. You're basically changing the camera settings to make sure that it allows you to activate the 60 frames per second in whatever program you're using. So go back to camera controls. Make sure exposure is checked on. Low light compensation turned off. Click OK. Now go back to the, like, the camera settings in uh, OBS Studio. Change it to 1280 by 720. Click it. Camera will take a second to adjust. We're going to press OK really quick. We're going to drag it, make it full screen. And then we're going to go back into the camera settings and make sure uh, that the frames per second here is changed to 60. So you're going to instantly know the camera change once it gets kind of dim. So again, having good lighting in your room really makes the picture look way better when you are using the 720p 60 frames per second. But that's it. That's how you set it up in OBS Studio. Hopefully you guys learn how to set it up in both programs without any problems. It's very, very simple and it's just easy to set up um, in either program. But that is everything of how to set up the Logitech C922 ProStream webcam in uh, either XSplit Broadcaster or in OBS Studio. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, of course, drop them down below in the comments section down below. If you guys enjoy the video, just click up the like button subscribe if you guys are brand new if you guys want to see like more tutorials in the future um that's really it it's super simple uh, hopefully you guys understand everything very clearly and hopefully you guys have awesome stream setups and or 
awesome recording setups now with the Logitech C922. All right, guys, real quick in OBS Studio, make sure you guys go in your settings, you go to video, and you make sure that your setting right here is at 60 frames per second, so you guys can make sure you guys are gonna be recording and broadcasting with the C922 in 60 frames per second in OBS Studio. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you guys later.